Uh, well, I guess my story starts right around here. Not so long ago, Carl was a lost soul. A dead head. Now he is a transformed man. We're both authors of best-selling books. Mm -hmm. What if we co-authored one about our opposing worldviews? Could bring a lot of non-believers to Christ. More believers to reason. <laughs> Without God, what's to stop me from killing poor Carl here? Yeah. The collaboration begins. I just got word that late last night, Professor Blaylock was the victim of an attempted suicide. Church of the third millennium pastor. You gotta come with me. Just smile and pretend nothing was wrong. What's going on, Jerry? Pastor Dan told me everything. He did? Just admit what you did. Me? What? Yeah. You shot that guy and tried to make it look like a suicide. Jerry, I... I mean, Carl, I've gotten hot Dan on the shot collar. The professor. I know Dan would never do a thing like that. I was there. I did him do it with my own eyes. You're off in some kind of acid flashback. Okay. <laughs> incident has sent Carl into a very dark place. Tell me, did he have any family history? Like genealogy? Carl may or may not be demonically possessed. Why are you doing this? You're being controlled by evil. We're friends, man. I'd let you in the grill with my barbecue. Nice performance. Pastor shot at Professor. <laughs> I get it now. I get it. I am the anointed servant of God. I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy. You got the wrong guy. I love like this because I love them. Is this when a boy wants to say so? I've even got a title.